so so s v a so we know from s to v we uh, we do differentiation ds over dt this one is dv over dt so going the other way around integration of a integration of v so we see here s to v we integrate uh, we differentiate s to get v we differentiate v to get a and here to get v from a we integrate integrate okay so now number three Azim runs along a straight path from a fixed point O, okay? From a fixed point O. So, point O is the reference. So, this one is the reference point. So, from, okay, never mind his velocity. T hours after passing through O is given by. So, this one is the velocity. M and N are constant. Okay, Azim stop to rest after running half of the distance when T is equal to 1. So, stop. What does it mean by stop? So, stop. We know that velocity is equal to 0 or we are not moving. Okay, so V is equal to 0 at T is equal to 1 when T is equal to 1. Okay, acceleration of, so it's given that acceleration of this one. So when T is equal to 1, acceleration is also given which is 12.5 km per hour. Okay, fine. Okay, M and N. So, here we have V is equal to mt square plus nt, right? So, we know when V is equal to 0, T is equal to 1. So, this one is 0, m1 square plus this one is, sorry, n1. So, we have m plus n is equal to 0. So, this one is the first one. So, to do simultaneous equation, we need to have two equations. So, we know that T1, this is A. So, how can we find A? We have V, right? To get A from B, we can do uh, differentiation, right? So, we differentiate. So, A is equal to dV over dt, which is equal to, so, our V is this one. When you differentiate mt square, so, we take the power, we bring forward, multiply with constant 2, time m, we get 2m. And then, we have t, right? So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, power 1, we don't really need to write. So, 2mt only plus nt. When we differentiate nt with respect to t, so n is a constant, so n. So, we know when a is equal to 12.5, t is equal to 1. 1 plus n. So, here we get 2m plus n is equal to 12.5. This one is number 2. So, here we have this. So, we, you can use either substitution or elimination, any method that you wanted to do. So, I want to use this one is m plus n is equal to 0. This one is the first one. So, I want to do elimination. So, I minus because 2 minus, because n minus n is 0. 2m minus m is 1. 12.5 minus 0 is 12.5. So, here I get m is equal to 12.5. And we know that m plus n is equal to 0. So, here we know that m plus n is equal to 0. Then, m is equal to 0. n is equal to 0 minus m or 0 minus 12.5. So, we get negative 12.5. So, the value of m and n. So, here, m is equal to 12.5. n is equal to negative 12.5. Maximum velocity of Azim in KM. So, we know here maximum velocity. So, maximum velocity. So, this one is differentiation, right? A is differentiation of B. So, maximum velocity A is equal to 0. So, this one A is equal to 0. So, maximum velocity is when A is equal to 0. So, just now we calculate that A is equal to. So, just now we differentiate, right? So, this, this one we get 2MT plus n is equal to 2 m is 12.5 t plus n is negative 12.5 so basically you have 25 right 25 t minus 12.5 so this is a so we know maximum velocity a is equal to 0 so this 0 is equal to 25 t minus 12.5 so 25 t is equal to 12.5 t is equal to 12.5 divided by 25 so basically we get half 
of 0 0.5 second. So we know A is equal to 0 when T is equal to 0 0.5. So maximum velocity, so at, we have to know when T is equal to 0 0.5, that is where we get the maximum velocity. So what is the maximum velocity? So we substitute using the, power, the formula of V, V is equal to, so just now you substitute M and N. So this one is m is 12.5 t square plus n is negative 12.5 t or you can just write negative so this one is 12.5 t square minus 12.5 t so this is our v so we know that this one when t is equal to 0 0.5 v is equal to 12.5 times 0 0.5 square minus 12.5 times 0 0.5 so here we are going to get negative 3.125 so this one is velocity and you see here this one is so kilometer per hour so this one is kilometer per hour see the distance in km travel by azim in the second hour so to get the distance we must know the formula of displacement so now we have v right so v is equal to so this one is 12.5 t square minus 12.5 t so to get s see here from v to s we have to integrate v so s is equal to integration of v in term of time so v is 12.5 t square minus 12.5 t so in this case so this one is 12.5 this one is integration don't forget dt so when you integrate so you just write the constant so you have t right you add the power with one and then you divide with the power okay and then this one minus 12.5 write a constant this one is power of one then you add the power with one divide with power this one indefinite integral don't forget to add c so here 12.5 divided by 3 we get 25 over 6 so this one is s is equal to 25 over 6 as you see calculator this one because i want to remove you can multiply by 2 2 to get 25 over 6 t square minus and then 25 12.5 divided by 2 we get 25 over 4 this one is 25 over 4 t square plus c right so we see what else to get c so we see here the formula here after passing point o so after passing point o point o is our reference so this one start after passing point o that means when t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 so when t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 which mean 0 is equal to 0 times t square is 0 minus this one times 0 is 0 plus c c is equal to 0 so s is equal to 25 over 6 so this one is t right t cube minus 25 over 4 t square so this is the formula this one so you see here in the second hour that means from the first hour to second hour so what uh, so how to do this is that we find what is the displacement what a what is the displacement at the second hour minus displacement at the first hour so we know this one is the distance that he has traveled from first hour to second hour so we have modulus for the distance travel why because distance need to be positive but displacement can be negative because we have a reference point where if we go to the left it is negative and if we go to the right it is positive so here we just substitute this one when t is equal to 2 this one when t is equal to 1 so here it is 25 over 6 this one is 2 cube minus 25 over 4 this one is 2 square okay minus so this one we have 25 over 6 this one is 1 cube minus 25 over 4 this one is 1 square so here we get 25 over 3 minus negative 25 over 12 which is equal to 1 to 5 over 12 km also it can be 10.417 kilometer